So you want to learn how to paint a painting just like this in under two minutes? Today I'm going to show you some top tips on how to produce this with one very effective tool coming up. Hi again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And today we're going to show you how to paint a really beautiful flower painting in under two minutes because we're simply going to use this tool. I've been using this recently in a lot of my paintings to do a lot of blending, which I'll leave a link just below for you. But these brushes can be really, really effective when we're using acrylic paint. So this is just your basic um, hardware store, the biggest brush I could find. I think it cost me like five bucks in my local hardware store. And all we're going to do is a dry brush technique, which basically involves getting some pigment, but making it really dry on your brush. And then we're just going to dab it down. What I like to do in terms of the technique, we simply just squash the bristles together like so, so that when I dab it down onto the paper, you get this really beautiful stippling effect. Alrighty, so let's put this time on the clock and let's see how we get on today. So all this is a case of simply just stippling. When I say stippling, it's where you see the individual bristles coming through. So all I'm going to do is dab on like so. The key here is you want to try and get your darker colours to one edge and your lighter colours to another so that you get a really quick, effective outcome. So the basic shape we're going to do today is just that lovely long banana-like length so we get that really effective shading going on. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more detail using a smaller size turn around her brush. This is just going to add a little bit more emphasis just to the edges where we lose that definition with the larger brush. So again, it's the same technique, just using that stippling effect, making sure that I don't go too heavy with the pigment. And then uh, just to finish off, we're just going to add the leaf detail. So I'm just going to mix in half green and half yellow onto the brush. This is just a flathead brush that I'm using here, size 10. And then very, very carefully just going to drag the line. So the idea is to try and get a hint of that yellow coming through the green. It's actually what we call a one stroke technique. So the one side of the brush is one colour, the other side obviously being the opposing colour. You can get these awesome leaf effects. So I need plenty of pigment for this. Drag in one stroke, and we get this fabulous leaf effect in one stroke. So, there you have it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's video on how to produce a painting like this really quickly. The reason we do these top tip techniques is to show you how simple and fun painting can be without having to spend hours and hours and hours over a painting. If you have enjoyed today's video guys then please hit that like button just below as it really does help our channel and if you'd like to see some more top tips then we do upload weekly videos so hit that subscription below. Alrighty guys we'll see you next time. Happy painting! <laughs>